India, a subcontinent of South Asia, has a challenge in tackling poverty. This video examines factors contributing to poverty in India and highlights what can be learned from the country. The roots of this enigma lie deep within the annals of Indian history, in the shadows of centuries of colonial rule and exploitive policies that have left an indelible mark on the nation's socio-economic structure. For nearly two centuries, British colonization cast a long and dark shadow over India. They arrived with profit-hungry motives, decimating India's thriving industries and leaving artisans and weavers destitute. As their crafts fell to ruin, India's rich heritage suffered. It was an era of economic subjugation, as the British East Indian Company systematically trampled upon India's economic growth, ensuring an agricultural economy that served only British interest, bleaching it of its vibrancy and potential. However, economic subjugation was not the only weapon in the British Raj's arsenal. They imposed draconian land revenue policies that plunged India's farmers into a cesspool of debt and despair. Masters of the land and lords of misery, the colonial rulers ensured the concentration of agricultural wealth in the hands of a privileged few. Meanwhile, the peasants toiled relentlessly, caught in a suffocating web of indebtedness, while landowners reveled in their ill-gotten gains. The feudalistic system, a testament to the British Raj's callousness and disregard for the welfare of the Indian people, cemented poverty in the bedrock of Indian society. Independence in 1947 marked a turning point for India, yet the shadows of the past proved challenging to dispel. Land reforms and promises of greater equality were proclaimed, but political turbulence, bureaucratic inefficiency, and a tarnished societal fabric hindered progress. Inequality thrived, and poverty gnawed at the nation's soul. The remnants of colonialism persist, taking the shape of the caste system, a social structure that mirrors and amplifies economic disparities. The caste system, deeply ingrained in the society's fabric and reinforces social hierarchy, condemns underprivileged populations to a life of isolation and hardship. The second reason why there's poverty in India is its population. Imagine 1.4 billion mouths to feed, bodies to shelter, and thirst to quench. India's resources are buckling under the weight of its enormous population, giving rise to an array of pressing challenges. The insatiable energy demands of India's burgeoning population are pushing the limits of the nation's capacity. Despite significant energy production, meeting this colossal demand becomes arduous, especially as India strives to adopt sustainable and eco-friendly energy sources. Overwhelmed by the number of needy people, India's social services, including healthcare and education, grown under the strain. Access to quality healthcare and education becomes a privilege reserved for the lucky few, upholding social inequalities and stifling human development. When a country has many people living in poverty, it can limit economic growth and hinder development. With a high population, the prevalence of poverty can be more pronounced. Governments often borrow money to finance development projects, improve infrastructure, or address social welfare needs. However, a high population can increase the demand for public goods and services, leading to higher borrowing and debt. Currently, India is on a debt of $624.7 billion. If this debt is not managed effectively, excessive debt levels can crowd out private investment, limit economic growth, and increase the risk of financial instability. Reason number three to why India is still grappling with poverty is the income inequality. Income inequality refers to the gapping divide in wealth distribution among individuals or households in a nation. Sadly, India has witnessed this chasm grow more comprehensive over time. Astonishingly, the wealthiest 10% in India now possess a staggering 77% of the national wealth, while the bottom 50% make do with a mere 1%. This stark disparity hinders progress in tackling poverty head-on. Income inequality erects formidable barriers to the essential resources and opportunities indispensable for social mobility and escaping poverty. The privileged disproportionately enjoy the economic pie, 
leaving scant room for those at the bottom of the economic ladder. Income inequality not only thrives within individual households, but also decays at a regional level. Government policies and initiatives fail to address the disparities, resulting in a deprivation divide exasperating poverty in marginalized communities. Income inequality ignites social unrest and breeds political instability. The glaring disparities in wealth and opportunities breed resentment, envy, and social divisions. This unrest creates an environment of conflict, hindering collective action against poverty. Social cohesion, a crucial catalyst for transformative change, suffers. The vast disparities in wealth distribution impede progress in eradicating poverty, stifling equitable growth. On to the fourth reason why India is still grappling with poverty is unemployment and underemployment. High levels of unemployment and underemployment put a break on India's economic engine. As of July 2023, the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, CMIE, a private group, pegs the country's current unemployment rate at 7.95%. You see, inequity and income disparity loom large when individuals are trapped in low-paying, unstable jobs that don't match their qualifications. Beyond the numbers, unemployment and underemployment breed frustration, hopelessness, and societal unrest. Strained relationships and deteriorating mental health impact families and communities at their core. On to reason number five why India is battling with poverty is agricultural distress. Two-thirds of the Indian population is on agriculture for their survival, mainly on a local scale or subsistence, to support themselves. It is the soul of rural communities, providing sustenance and hope. Hidden beneath the serene facade of Indian farming lies a dark reality, a reality that farmers face daily, battling against relentless obstacles that push them into distress. These challenges, lurking in the shadows, include fragmented land holdings that prevent farmers from reaping the benefits of modern techniques and the economies of scale, and the whims of the monsoon season that dictate the fate of crops, fueling uncertainty and anxiety. As if that weren't enough, the constant struggle for irrigation resources in regions with unreliable rainfall leaves fields and productivity stifled. With its unpredictable weather patterns and devastating pest invasions, nature's wrath mercilessly ravages crops, plunging hardworking farmers into poverty. Furthermore, compounding the issue, limited access to formal credit forces farmers into the clutches of exploitive informal lenders, creating a vicious trap of debt that seems impossible to escape. These obstacles have dire consequences that reach far beyond the agricultural sector, striking at the heart of the Indian economy and the very fabric of poverty. Fragile incomes, fluctuating with the unpredictable nature of agricultural earnings, crush any hopes of stability, leaving farmers vulnerable to poverty's relentless grip. Disillusioned by the hardships of farming, countless farmers abandon their ancestral lands and migrate to bustling cities for elusive prosperity. Unfortunately, this exodus leads to urban poverty and overcrowding, exasperating the nation's challenges. Among the myriad factors holding India back, inadequate infrastructure emerges as a formidable enemy. Imagine a world where clean water flows freely, where everyone breathes in the freshness of hygiene. Inadequate infrastructure, however, robs many impoverished communities of this basic necessity. Lack of clean water sources, poorly managed sewage systems, and insufficient sanitation facilities expose individuals to various diseases, hindering their ability to escape poverty's grip. Inadequate infrastructure cripples connectivity, leaving remote regions and rural areas stranded. Insufficient road networks, unreliable transportation, and limited access to vital services and amenities confine individuals to a life devoid of opportunities. This creates barriers for small businesses impedes technological advancement, and restricts employment opportunities. It's true that education is the key that unlocks the doors of possibility, yet inadequate infrastructure erects barriers between children and knowledge. Dilapidated school buildings, 
overcrowded classrooms, and a scarcity of essential resources stifle the potential for quality education. Inadequate infrastructure hampers the delivery of life-saving services. Impoverished areas lack healthcare facilities, essential equipment, and medications. Such hurdles deny people access to quality health care, prolonging the vicious loop of poverty and preventing them from reaching their full potential. Gender inequality is the seventh contributing factor to India's poverty. Can you imagine being denied the chance to pursue your dreams, financial independence, and a brighter future? Gender-based discrimination does just that to countless women in India. They are confined to low-paying informal jobs with few chances to break free from the cycle of poverty. Education holds the key to a promising future, yet it remains locked away from countless girls who are denied equal access. Lack of education leads to limited opportunities, curtailing earning potential and restricting upward mobility. In the shadows, women suffer in silence, enduring violence and abuse that shatters lives, dreams, and aspirations. Domestic violence, sexual harassment, and dowry-related abuse keep women shackled, stripping them of their agency and continuing the intergenerational transmission of financial hardship. Another factor that contributes to India being trapped in poverty is the ineffective social welfare systems. While India's economic growth has been remarkable, allocating resources towards social welfare remains insufficient. This shortage denies countless individuals access to vital benefits like education, health care, and essential amenities. Direct cash transfers and subsidies often miss their mark, leaving those who need them most trapped in poverty. The gap between policy formulation and execution breeds inefficiency and undermines their intended purpose. Complex bureaucratic procedures, graft, and a lack of proper monitoring result in the wrong people benefiting while the deserving are left behind. This propagates the cage of poverty rather than breaking it. The lack of accessible information leaves countless people unaware of the benefits they are entitled to, trapping them in the chains of poverty. The fragmented nature of social welfare delivery mechanisms in India further hampers their effectiveness. Disjointed programs operate in isolation, causing overlap, wastage, and confusion. India, burdened by the chains of poverty, seeks a brighter future through decisive actions. Firstly, the high population can be seen as an asset as it represents a large consumer base and potential workforce for economic growth if properly managed, and it can become the next China. Secondly, the historical factors that have perpetuated inequality can be tackled head on. India can level the playing field by providing education that embraces diversity and inclusivity. Through progressive taxation policies that redistribute wealth, India can create a more equitable distribution of resources. Skill development programs and vocational training is another essential thing to curb poverty in India because it will equip individuals with the tools necessary to secure better paying jobs, promoting income growth. India can generate more job opportunities by fostering a culture of entrepreneurship by creating an enabling business environment. Access to credit facilities and small-scale businesses is crucial, allowing for innovation and expansion. Comprehensive agricultural reforms are needed, including adopting modern farming techniques and providing timely access to credit and insurance, which will help alleviate farmers' burdens. Diversification of rural economies through support for non-agricultural sectors will reduce dependency on uncertain agricultural practices. Inadequate infrastructure has hindered progress, but India can catch up. Increased public investment and in infrastructure development, particularly in rural areas, will improve connectivity, clean water access, electricity, sanitation facilities, and healthcare services. Public-private partnerships will expedite this process, bringing prosperity to every corner of the country. Empowering women through education, skill development, and entrepreneurship programs is the key to unlocking their potential. 
by enforcing measures against gender-based discrimination and violence and promoting women's participation in decision-making processes, India can achieve true gender equality. Lastly, the social welfare systems must be fixed to deliver maximum services. Strengthening and streamlining these programs and transparent identification and evaluation processes will ensure that social welfare benefits reach vulnerable populations. With collective action and determination, India can rewrite its history, a story of triumph, progress, and economic well-being for all its citizens. India's true potential lies within its people, and now is the time to unleash their latent brilliance. It's a rallying call for daring ideas, resilient spirits, and a nation that embraces the bold, paving the way for a sea of new jobs and boundless economic growth. It's time for every dream to be nurtured, every talent to be discovered, and every community to rise together. Hit the subscribe button to watch the next video to fuel your inner drive and give you a refreshed life perspective.